Nineteen raid. Nineteen raid. Nineteen raid. Nineteen raid. Si Josh or based on the four. First round. For nobody. Well, first, first round, round take of global point. Global oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> okay, so round anyway. 20, 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. So, ang nabigyan ng, nabigyan ng buhay dito ay si Jonas Villanueva. So, na-free din siya. Na-free siya. Who has been starting for San Mig Coffee Mixers for the past two games. Mm. Yep. Um, so far, how, we, how is he? <laughs> oh, uh, Jonas, go ahead. Well. I mean, feeling ko gusto-gusto siya ni Coach. Coach Kohn? Yeah. Dahil sa sistema na... May triangle, di ba? Kadalasan, big guard. Uh, uh, benefit from it. Sa triangle. And injured siya for most of the time last season, di ba? So, medyo si Josh talaga nag-start at si Mark Baro. So, I think uh, si Josh Urbiston, the trainage siya to give way, siguro virtual timeshare between Mark Baroka and Jonas Villanueva. Para sa akin, to, to start the game, anybody can start the game. Siguro, uh, mas naglilin lang si coach Tim kay Jonas dahil mas veteran siya kaysa kay Mark Baroka. But um how is he faring against the other point guards? They had a tough um uh, assignment with Again, Petron. Yeah, yeah. How did he do? Well, I think you can't deny yung yung dalawang crucial turnover niya na sinasabi. Hindi, yung mga <laughs> numbers niya. He's averaging, what, 8 points, about 8 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists. That was last, that was actually the game against Petron, his numbers there. Mm-hmm. He's averaging, yes, around that level. And he actually sang a big jumper nung dulo. Pero yun nga lang, mm-hmm. may, may mga times pa rin na nagkakamali si Jonas. And Coach Tim Cone explained it nung after the game. He said that uh, Jonas is still learning how to deal with coach Tim. Because in some instances, other coaches would have called the timeout during that point. Right. No, alam ko na nakawan siya ni Alex. Kabag not. After that, he forced an 8 second violation. Yeah. Sabi niya, when other coaches would have called the timeout after the first turnover, si coach Tim hindi. So, uh, Jonas might have Called expected a timeout. Yeah. Kaya hindi siya masyadong mabilis yung pagbaba niya ng bola. He's still learning. Kasi alam naman natin hindi ganun kadaling matutunan yung sistema ni Coach Tim. But he's playing really well. Okay. So, uh, okay. ikaw, yung, yung scouting report mo on Jonas well, Villanueva. What I like about him is that aside from what Jai said, he's definitely a big guard who can defend. Now, he's always calm and collected. He can organize the offense. Well, he's always, that's been his demeanor even from his college days in FEU where he was really a good scorer. He was their go-to guy. But he can do a lot of things. He can shoot, he can penetrate, and he's a smart player. So that's why I think he actually fits well for uh, San yeah. Coffee. And I think the first game he, he, they played this year, he actually had, do- he scored in double figures. and Against? Um, Alaska. 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 So, I yeah. think Jonas is perfect for the triangle and for coach team. Because when you're a point guard in the triangle offense, na medyo, uh, talagang the whole system revolves around the triangle. Uh, the point guard is always called to medyo sacrifice the triangle offense and to really set up the teammates, uh, make sure everyone is in the right place. And more than that, mas importante sa triangle is uh, na si si James Yap nasa tamang pwesto siya, right, nasa scoring right. opportunity siya. Because there sa triangle pwedeng may times na Baka si Rafi Rivis mapunta Salapas, kung oh. nasan dapat si James Yap eh. okay. So I think si Jonas, uh, he's a very smart player. We've shown that in, uh, he's shown that in his FU days. Na he can be a playmaker, a scorer, or uh, talagang sacrifice for his teammates. So, and I think is he's in the peak of his career and Tama yung ginagawa ni Coach Tim. Um, kasi magtagal itong si Jonas Villanueva na nasa shadows yeah. ng ibang mga point guard. But what is it gonna take for him to be that premier point guard? Well, as Chai said, you have to learn the system ni Coach Tim. And you have to play accordingly. Hmm. I mean, kita naman dun sa first two games ng, ng San Mig. The first game, they made mga 25, if I'm not mistaken, assists as a team. Does in their last game against Petron, it's more than 20 then, 21, 22, I'm not sure. Kahit na hindi lahat ng galing kay Jonas yung assists na yun, the fact that 
his team is actually making those kinds of passes, right. it talks volumes of the point guard. Because even if you don't give the assist, ng assist but if your pass led to the actual assist, hockey assist, de ba? Yes. Malaking bagay na rin yon. And sa kanya as you said, <coughs> sa kanya nagmumula yung buong opensa. So napakalaking bagay nung nilalaro feel. nilalaro mm-hmm. ni Jonas. Um, any wise advice from you? For Jonas, no. Uh, take it easy on us. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think Jonas will not be the talagang superstar point yeah. guard. Mm-hmm. They but don't he need, will they don't need one. Yeah, but he will be an Olsen Rosera type of point guard na mahaba yung career and very successful. Ako, ako lang para sa akin, konting oomph. Alam mo yun? Oomph. Oomph. 